Why don't you advocate for companies to stop trying to pay off Washington? Full stop, period. Why aren't we just saying, get money out of it? It is corrupt. For, I mean, I just said it. We're paying off Washington. That, that's what companies in America are doing. They are paying off Washington to get a seat at the table. To, to, they're effectively paying to have a conversation and paying to influence the conversation. Why, why is that a good idea? By the way, why is it a good idea for government? And why is it a good idea for the, for the companies themselves? We've talked about companies like IBM and others who basically said, we're out of this business. We don't do this. We don't do this. A Andrew, I completely agree with you. I, I don't know that there are more than two or three CEOs that are happy with their voice in Washington. Uh, they, they shouldn't be spending this money. As you mentioned, a lot of them have now permanently put it on hold. They're not going back to... Uh, to, uh, to make congressional uh, uh, commitments uh, for campaigns anymore. IBM has never done it. It hasn't heard their voice in Washington. They have ups and downs in product markets, but it has nothing to do with anything they, that's going on in Washington. A lot of these companies have decided that. Frankly, a lot of right. them are equally unhappy, and this will make friends for me, with their trade associations, that their voice hasn't been heard there. But there are some companies who have spent a lot in lobbying. Uh, direct competitors, AT&T and Verizon, used to have diametrically opposite uh, spending patterns in Washington, Google versus Facebook, opposite spending patterns. It had nothing to do with their voice in Washington. Right. It's inconsequential. Jeff, it hasn't bought what them any happens? What happens if 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 the former president, President Trump, runs again? What happens? What what do companies do? Do they give? Do they not give? How, how does how does that work? Well, they I, I, right now, all companies should be lining up uh, on this bipartisan effort in support of the Electoral Reform Act. Rick Pildes of NYU, a, a constitutional law expert, has a great piece in the Washington Post uh, uh, yesterday about how important it is to line up behind it. The Wall Street Journal's behind it. And that is, there's a lot of ambiguity. People say, well, maybe it was such a constitutional crisis. Mike Pence did the right thing. Well, that's because Mike Pence called the right guy, uh, Judge uh, Mike Ludig, who was a former federal judge, a highly respected, highly conservative judge, told Mike Pence what to do, as did former uh, Vice President Dan Quayle, his predecessor in Indiana, uh, had those people not advised uh, Vice President Pence appropriately, we would have had a, con a constitutional crisis where nobody knows what would have happened. It wasn't even clear if the Supreme Court had a legitimacy to intervene right there. So we need to work on this weird, uh, probably unconstitutional law and have it rescinded the, of 1887. It was in the Tilden Hayes uh, presidential election that was very controversial. They need to rescind that, and corporations should line up behind that. Corporations should also uh, be lining up behind efforts for uh, general uh, election reform. So you shouldn't have this voter suppression nonsense that's sweeping through. It makes no sense. There was no election fraud. They should say the big lie never happened. And but that's what companies are doing. But by the way, as we're talking about companies yeah. doing this, we, we I just got to make one point here, if I can. Where is everybody else? We talk about stakeholder governance. Where are those stakeholders? The social change of the 1960s that corporations bought into was corporations were responding to the churches, they're responding to the trade unions, they're responding to professional associations, the pension funds, these institutional investors that are pounding their chests with all their virtue signaling, talking about you know zero carbon, carbon neutral, carbon negative, and how responsible they are on some weird ESG metrics that don't correspond to anything. Mm -hmm. They avoid the big issues, they're cowards. The CEOs have stood out there, but where's everybody else? Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.